Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am so excited for today's tutorial. Before we begin, I want to show you guys the vinyl that we're going to be using today, which is from Arteza, and it is a part of the Holographic Self-Adhesive Vinyl Pack. So in this pack, you get 16 beautiful sheets of holographic vinyl. This pack of 16 sheets costs $39.99 on their website. However, check out in the description down below because I have an exclusive coupon code that you guys can use to get 10% off. So I already went ahead and cut up my vinyl sheet. Um, you can see just how beautiful this one is. And this is called the um, Shocking Pink. On the back of this pack, you will find all of the colors and the corresponding numbers that goes along with each color, which is really handy, especially if you're trying to quickly glance to see what color you may want to use for your um, project. Before we really dive in and get started, I want to just open up this pack and show you a couple of the colors that are inside really quickly. So I'm going to speed through this, but I really just wanted to show you guys because they are so beautiful. absolutely love every single one and I couldn't wait to share with you guys but now that you've seen them all don't forget to check out the discount code down below and let's hop in to this tutorial I'm actually getting started with a little clip here of me cutting out this file I downloaded it online from a website that I will also link down below it was absolutely free to download so you can click on the link in the description down below and download this file for free um, if you want to recreate this look after you've cut out your file you want to go ahead and weed out the outline and that's basically what i'm doing right now just make sure that you pull up your outline really carefully um, but you can see that it cuts really really well and i cut it at the um, on my Cricut maker on the adhesive vinyl setting and it did pretty well there were a couple little pieces there that wanted to pull up but it wasn't really um, stuck on there too bad I was just able to use my tool to kind of pull that apart Now that I have that all weeded, I'm taking my stainless steel tumbler, which is a 22 ounce fatty, and I'm wrapping my little design around the tumbler just to see where I need to cut. And you can see that I take my little weeding tool here and just create a little slit so that I know how tall I need my cutout to be. And then just cut it out and put that aside for any future projects you may want to use or if you have a smaller cup that you may want to use this design on then there's extra there once that is done we're gonna go ahead and prep our cup so I went sanded it washed it and spray painted it with a semi gloss black once it was fully dry I did wipe it down with a little bit of alcohol because your glossier colors do tend to get some dimples with your resin so make sure to clean that off before going in I'm using the ultra clear facet from counterculture for this part and I do mix in a little bit of silver moon dust to create sparkle on the base I didn't want to go in with a heavy glitter for this tutorial um, I just wanted to have my black base with a little bit of shimmer 
so silver moon dust is perfect for that here you can see just how beautiful that silver moon dust sparkles over a flat base now once that's cured we're gonna go ahead and take our vinyl design and remove half of the backing sheet to apply it onto the tumbler so you can see that I have it sort of folded on the right side of the screen there's still the backing sheet and on the left side I've removed it so that I can smooth it out center it and smooth it out and apply my vinyl evenly um, you just want to make sure that you move slow here slow and steady so that your vinyl lays down um, as smooth and evenly as possible so here you can see just how I play with the vinyl and flatten it out with my squeegee I'm gonna spin it here to get it to the other side so that we can um, add the rest of the vinyl flatten it down um, I did leave a little bit of excess of that design so I'm gonna have to go in with a little uh, cutting knife cutting tool and trim that up a bit as well so you're gonna see how I do that here so you can see here that I'm pushing the vinyl into the other side um, so that I can see where the two lines meet up um, for this part you don't have to have it meeting exactly because it is broken glass with all the spaces in between if you left a little bit of a gap it wouldn't be a big deal um, but here I decided to kind of keep them as flush as possible and I'm just trimming that up and peeling off that excess So once you went ahead and finished trimming that up, you can go ahead and pull off your contact sheet now. You can see what I'm doing here. Now I did struggle with this part. I'm gonna be completely honest with you guys. You can see just how hard it was to pull off that contact sheet. Because of that, I did get a few bubbles under my vinyl. Now if this happens to you, it may be your choice to just go ahead and start over. I also was thinking about removing the vinyl and starting over but with the whole message of this tumbler and it being broken glass and the message being beautifully broken I thought that the little small imperfections just kind of fit, fit well with the whole message anyway so I just decided to move forward and show you guys this design that I've had in my head for a little while now and I hope that you guys really like it and maybe it's something that you can pull inspiration from and recreate for yourself or for a family member or for whoever. So in this community there's going to be a lot of trial and error especially when you're doing new techniques or new designs that you've never done before. Don't be so hot on yourself when you're doing new things. And especially with handmade, nothing is 100% perfect. No matter how many times somebody may try to tell you that things need to be perfect, life is not perfect. So have fun, don't take yourself too seriously, enjoy the process, and I hope you guys are feeling inspired by this today. Anyways, once I've applied my little quote, I'm gonna go in with some more facet and then we're gonna go and add our glitter. Now, the glitter that we're using today is Y2K and Lapidolite. Y2K is a holographic chunky black and Lapidolite is a really pretty chunky pink mirrored mix. Now you're gonna see I'm going in a lot with that black. I just love Y2K and I think it just ties everything in together. Originally I was just going to scatter it a little bit here and there but I was just I love it. I love glitter so much so of course I was just like you know what everywhere and I just started throwing it onto the to the cup but I think it looked really good. Um, and then I go in with Lapidolite as well, but not as much. Um, but what I really love about the Pink Chunky Mix is that it has the mirrored pieces in there, which I think really tie in well with the broken glass feel. And then it also has a little teeny tiny stars. 
um, but that's pretty much it you guys can watch the rest of this video and let me know what you guys think don't forget to give this video a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and leave me a comment down below on what you thought about this design is it something you've seen before because I personally have not seen anything like this before um, and I'm excited to show you guys so once you finish applying your chunky glitter, you do want to go in with your final coat of resin, let that cure, and you're done. So that's pretty much it for today's tutorial. I really hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. If you're just finding my channel, then please go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Also hit that notification bell so that you can be alerted every time we upload a brand new video. I upload every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday mornings. You can also join me over in my Facebook group, Instagram, TikTok, and all those links will be down below in the description. Until next time, bye.